Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. It is, of course, me, Taylor Made Gaming. And oh my days, I'm so excited for this video. I've had the idea for this video for a couple of weeks now, and I am proper, proper excited to see what happens in today's video. As you can see, I've set up a whole new club, England FC, and I've pretty much copied everything over from the national team version over to this new club team version. And just got to say, first off, sorry to Brighton and Hove Albion fans, but you are the team that have been kicked out to make space for England FC. Sorry about that. Uh, just really did that because you're just a bit of a lower half nothing team really at the minute. Not really looking like you're going to get relegated, not looking like you're going to get into Europe. So yeah, that's why I decided to get rid of you boys. So really, really am sorry about that. And so let's get into this. You can see we've got Southgate as manager. We've got Harry Kane as the key player. Jude Bellingham as a hot prospect. Uh, I've made the finances rich, but I have put the team on a transfer embargo for the next five seasons, just because I might fancy playing this as well after this video. So yeah, if you would like to as well, let me know and I'll put the link for the, um, I'll send you the link for the file that I've created if you would be interested in having it. Or if there's enough interest, I'll put it on the Steam Workshop for you guys. So, yep, state-of-the-art training facility, state-of-the-art everything. And let's just have a look at the squad. So you can see it is all completely the Euro 2020 squad. Pickford, Ramsdale, Declan Rice, Bukayo Saka. I love Saka. I think he had a very good tournament. Why he had to take that last penalty, I don't know, but... It still hurts to talk about it, so I'm not going to. But also what I have done to make this experiment interesting is that I've updated all the players' old clubs with updated finances. So I've added the players' values to their old clubs and I've, and I've updated all their transfer budgets with that same amount as well. So it could be interesting to see how the other teams get on, who they buy, what happens in the transfer market and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, with all that said, I think I think it's time we go in, uh, crack on and see what happened towards the end of this season. I'm going to make a prediction. 80 points, 80 points, I'm thinking. And fourth, fifth, fourth, fourth, fourth with 80 points is what I'm thinking. And also top goal scorer. Who do I think? For Harry Kane's got to be top goal scorer surely for us. So first things first, we are now at the 19th of June 2021. So the Premier League season has just finished. Gareth Southgate is still England manager. So... Things must have gone okay. There must not have been that much of a disaster. But just before we do go and have a look at the league table, I want to see how the players got on. Okay, here we are on the squad screen. And you can see that as far as average ratings go, Harry Kane has finished top. And he's played the second most amount of games. He's played 47 times. He's got 22 goals, 10 assists for an average rating over the season of an 8.01. A fantastic return for Harry Kane. Very happy with that from him. Raheem Sterling has come second with 19 goals, the most appearances beating Kane by one and getting eight assists and an average rating of 7.76. Sancho, he didn't get on this summer as much as what people thought he would, but he's done okay 
this season again. Maybe not playing that much. Only the eight starts. But he got four goals and two assists for a 7.43. Foden only started seven times. That's a little bit surprising for me, I think. And only got two goals. He got this. He got less goals than Declan Rice. Gareth Southgate has got Declan Rice scoring goals. I love it. I love it, love it, love it like that. Oh my gosh. Six assists as well for Declan Rice. 7.34 average rating. Oh no, no. I've been looking at the wrong person. No, I haven't. I have been looking at the right person. Yeah. Declan Rice got a 7.34. Jordan Henderson only got two goals and the same amount of assists. Anybody else really surprise me? Let's have a look and see who's played the most games. Oh, actually, Pickford played the most. But, of course, he's in goal, so he was always going to. And he got an average rating of 7.04. Can we see how many clean seats he got? Yes, we can. So we can see from 49 appearances, he conceded 57 and got 14 clean seats. I'm quite happy with that. I think that's fairly decent. I would be very, very happy with that if I'm in. And so anybody else who's played very well who I might not have expected. Marcus Rashford getting 15 goals. I think that's a decent return for him. Grealis only got the four. Okay. And so, uh, who else? Calvin Phillips only played, or only started six times. A little bit surprising after the summer he's just had. And so, yeah, that is our look at the players done. Now let's go and have a look and see how they got on in all the different competitions. Oh, as far as the Carabao Cup goes... England lost to Liverpool 3-2 in the final. What a game that looks like. And we can go into the game here. And you can see that Liverpool actually went 3-0 up in the first 39 minutes. But Mason Mount and the ex-Everton man Dominic Calvert-Lewin did their best to try and get England back into the game. And you can see the tactic here that they played for that game. He put Rice in defence. Interesting. Henderson got a 7.0 in defensive midfield and Kane got a 7.9. So, is that the formation they've used all year? Possibly. We'll have to have a look in a minute. Now, looking at the FA Cup, they didn't make the final. Man City beat Liverpool in the final with that. England FC got to the semi-final, again losing to Liverpool. Man City beating United. And what happened in that semi-final? England again played the same formation. Raheem Sterling scoring against his old club. And so, it looks like they've gone behind both times against Liverpool. Hopefully that's not a thing that's happened a lot for this squad. And so now, into the competitive games in the schedule. Here we are. They started off the season with four wins on the bounce. Harry Kane getting two against Newcastle. They beat Wolves, beat Wigan and Cheltenham in the EFL Cup. Beat Southampton 3-2 in a thriller of a game there. October was disappointing. No results there, no wins. But then November they came back and that's when they started hitting their stride. Because starting from that Man City game... They've gone 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 games without a defeat. Beating my team, West Ham. Declan Rice scoring against us in the FA Cup. No Deckers. No Deckers. Oh, no. That makes me a very, very sad boy. Oh, I'm not happy about that. But, yeah. They went on a 14-game unbeaten run. So they did very, very well before losing to Man U. Newcastle got revenge in January. They beat Brentford, Declan Rice again there. Beat Liverpool in the league. So that's a little bit of something they've got over Liverpool. 
drew with Chelsea. Uh, how did Harry Kane do against Tottenham? He didn't score there in May. And where's the other game against Tottenham? Uh, it's there. Raheem Sterling scoring in both the games against Tottenham. But they drew one and lost one there. And so, yeah. Now it's time to go and have a look at the league table. I said 80 points and finishing fourth, didn't I? So, yeah, let's go and have a look. Oh, that's disappointing. Not even European football. Eighth. England have finished eighth in the Premier League. They've won 17 games, drawn nine, but lost 12 in the league for a grand total of 60 points. I'm not sure anybody had that. I'm going to go and check on all my guesses. Most of them are on Facebook, so I will go and check that out. And so, yeah, I'll be getting in touch with the winner very, very shortly. Can we have a look at, like, transfers? Can we have a look to see if there were any big, big transfers because of the extra money teams had? Oh, blimey. Man U did get a massive budget because they lost a few players. And they've used it to get Ansu Fati in. Uh, Alexander Isaacs joined Arsenal. Max Ahrens has gone to Newcastle. Um, Hector Bellerin's gone from Arsenal to Man City. Any other big, big names there? Eduard's joined West Ham. I'm going to have a look at him off camera, see how he did. Uh, John Fleck. John Fleck, old FM wonder kids, gone to Villa. Barbosa has finally joined an English team. Wow. So, yeah, a few big deals, but nothing, nothing, well, apart from Fatty and Isaac, no big, 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 huge deals. And so, yeah, guys, on that rather disappointing note, that is where we are going to leave it for today. And today, guys, it's my birthday. So please do me a massive favour and drop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 21 content, Total Extreme Wrestling content, Bus Simulator content will be back at some point. And as well, guys, if you want it, let me know and I might start doing PGA Tour content. Let me know down below. Follow me on Twitter. Wish me happy birthday over there and down below. At Taylor M Gaming is my Twitter. So, guys, yep. Thank you very much and I'll see you tomorrow for the last episode of Season 2 of Homeless to Hero. So, see you then. Bye.